Hey guys, this is uh, Xbox RC here, and you know this is going to be just a quick unboxing video of the Fat Shark 5.8 Teleporter Series um, uh, FPV system here. So I was actually very lucky to get this actual system. Um, you know, it, it uh, for many of you guys out there who are trying to get an FPV system, this is an all-in-one, ready to rock and roll system. So. This whole series that I'm going to produce is really just setting up a whole FPV system. What is it? Why did I get what I get? How I'm going to mount it and so forth. So first I'm going to show you again this Fat Shark system that I picked up here. So I already took it out of the box but you can see it comes in a you know pretty small compact box here. Pretty uh, you know go to fatshark.com tells you what it is. This has the built in head tracker. And the reason why I wanted this is because I, I did not want to have to hook up my vision system into my actual controller control it. This whole system that I have, it's the teleporter series, it'll actually let you um, really move your head and it'll move the camera without hooking it into your controller, which is great because for me, I'm gonna hook this up to an RC car. Again, this whole series, I'm gonna probably hook it up to an Axial Wraith or a Traxxas Summit, and I'm gonna go through all the steps showing you what I bought, how I did it, and so forth. So you can see here it is the 5.8 gigahertz because on my uh, on both of my cars they're both 2.4 so you don't do not want it on the same channel. So this is the box you get and you know again it's pretty compact. I went ahead and uh, you know took it out of the box here so we show you what you guys get here. So first thing of course you get this uh, RC Vision System sort of special edition uh, teleporter series. And again before I go any further I gotta thank. Um, uh, Igor out there, you know, again, he's my sort of hookup for this system. It was very difficult to get. I do give props to him. He definitely comes through when you get it. So we can check this out here. Very easy to set this up. I was probably took, uh, I don't know, about two or three minutes and I was able to set this, uh, this whole system up very easy. So a front quick start as well as a uh, sort of a back piece back here telling you how to charge and the channels and so forth. Um, I pretty much didn't look at this. I scanned it over, but for the most part, it was just sort of heads up. It basically goes over exactly what you see there. Okay, so the second thing here is, of course, we're going to get the uh, the actual you know uh, pamphlet. Goes over some warnings and precautions. Tells you all about the products and the dip switches and all the settings and everything you'd need to know. For the most part, it, this thing is just plug and play. It says right from the box, just don't switch any settings, just go for it. So here we go. So you can see, pretty nice. So now we're going to actually dig into this and uh, take a look at what I got. So I'm going to show you what this is right here. So I got this, and this came along with it. This is, again, just the charger for the battery. So you can go ahead and uh, plug these two additional batteries here right into the uh, right into the charger and plug it into the wall. You don't got to do no more splicing or anything like that. You just plug it in, charge it. You know, this is a complete solution, guys. Again, no piecing apart from here and there. You just get this all in one, and you're ready to rock and roll. So that's what this is. So this is a nice little charger they included to charge up the batteries. The batteries, of course, are going to be 7.4. Uh, let me turn this over, see if you guys can see that. 7.4, 700 milliamp batteries. You get two of them. So here we go. See, very nice. The leads, the connectors, all ready to go. Unlike other systems you've seen, they don't have the connections on them. you got to splice it and cut it. and Ah, oh man, it's just a mess. So you get two nice batteries here. I'll show you the vision goggles here in a second. But of course, I'm going to pull out some of the smaller stuff here. Of course, you get sort of the AV audio cables here. I don't actually even use those. These actually came inside the uh, the goggle bag here, but I took them out. These are, of course, replacement strips uh, for the eyepieces in case you know yours crumbles or you wear them out. But you got to do a lot of uh, a lot of FPVing to wear those things out. Of course, you guys are going to go ahead and get the antennas here. I'm just going to lay them out here. Okay, so if we take a quick look, I'll bring it in here the camera. You basically get two of the 5.8 Gs as well as this little uh, ant antenna transmitter. So one of these, of course, will go on your goggles. One of these will go onto the receiver or, or the transmitter on your uh, on your uh, camera system, and then this one will go in there for the teleporter series uh, on your actual head thing as well. And I'll show that here in a second. Okay. So of course next you're going to have your uh, like a pair of headphones here, so you can hear what's going on. I never use these, of course. Then, of course, you're going to get a nice uh, charging adapter. So you can use this as well. So if you take a look here, it has, uh, of course, one for the uh, one for the end of the plug here. And then, of course, on this other end, it has the Dean's connector. So you can go ahead and hook that up to you know a popular Dean's system if you guys have one. So very nifty little handy little charger or discharger, depending on what you want to look at. 
but a uh, very nice tool to have, especially since you don't got to go ahead and make one. And of course, now we're going to pull out the big system here. But, oh, I forgot I seen this little <laughs> data connection cable. So, of course, if you wanted to, you could hook this up to the back of your Futaba controller. Again, in another video, probably after this one, I'm going to go ahead and show it. But you can hook this up into your uh, system as well as your Futaba controller and go ahead and control it that way if you wanted to as well. So, I don't use this, but I'm just going to leave it over to the side. So, here comes the big portion. Here is your uh, actual pan and tilt camera. I know there's a lot of cables and wires here, but trust me, it is very, very easy to set up. So pretty much you got three cables that come off your pan and tilt camera here. So for most of you guys who are new maybe at FPV, what happens is, unlike a lot of the cameras out there, when you look through your vision system, um, you're just going to look straight through your camera. You don't have the ability to turn your head and maybe look left or right or up or down. Uh, most systems don't have that, and that's what's so great about this, is it actually has the built-in head movement all in one. So when I move my head here on my camera, it's going to go ahead and move this in its place so you can drive around and fly around. Again, for me, I'm going to put in an RC car and it's going to fly around and show you exactly what you're looking at. So very, very nice. So you can see there's three cables basically coming off it and they're all going to go in here to this receiver. And of course, two of the, uh, two of the servo wires here go right into the base of this. And again, there's a complete guide that they showed you how to do this. This took me two minutes to hook up. I mean, a lot of these can't plug in. It's pretty much static. So if we take a look at this, there's really only one place that you can plug in some of these cables. So you take the one right from the actual camera itself. You plug it right into the bottom here, only one spot. You take the other two and plug them into the bottom of there. And of course, you would put an antenna here. And again, I'm going to do a whole other video on this setup, but I just wanted to show you the unboxing here. Then of course you have the final power one where you go ahead and hook a battery into it. You can see it has a couple different types down here. And again, this whole system is ready to rock and roll. So I'm going to show them that more in depth again in another video. But now let's go ahead and get to the goggles here. So let's open these up. Very nice carrying case here. Go ahead and pull these out. And you can see of course they have the head tracking of course built in here. The nice soft padding here. I already tried these. Uh, work great in my house walking around. And of course, uh, has all the channel switches. Basically, a real nice setup. Of course, a little pocket here for when you actually plug in your battery power here on the side. You can go ahead and put your uh, uh, put your battery right in here. But again, this is what's going to happen with these since it's the teleporter series. I can actually hook up this whole unit right now, not even have my RC car anywhere. And when I set up my camera and I move these, this camera is going to move as well. I don't need to plug it into a controller. I don't need to do any of that. This is all ready to rock and roll. So I'm glad you guys got to see this unboxing. If you guys can, definitely subscribe. Um, again, I'm going to walk you through the whole thing from unboxing all the components I get from my GoPro camera to the Fat Shark to the, you know, the Traxxas, uh, the, the Summit, or if I'm going to put it in my Axial Wraith, I don't know yet. I'm going to show you how I mount it, how I do it, why I did what I did. So if you guys can, definitely subscribe. And uh, thanks again for watching.